Some FFA state officers were able to stop and chat with us at Husker Harvest Days. Here's a listen on what they have to say about the increased presence of FFA in area schools. young people out so they get exposed to what the latest and greatest is oh, in, in yeah. agriculture. I think it really inspires the young people and shows, you know, if, if you like technology and all that, you can still stay on the farm and, and, and enjoy all of that. And, you know, it's it's totally different story now than it was back in the 80s where yeah. they always told you, you know, Marilyn, don't marry a farmer. Right. <laughs> because right. Just, that's what it was like back then. Now it's completely different. And not only could you maybe even stay on the farm and make it progressive, but also, you know, there's so many different divisions in agriculture right. that you can go into. It's not just working in the dirt on the farm. And let's bring in a couple of FFA officers, state officers, I should mention. Right, guys? Yeah. So out here at Husker Harvest Days, what is it that you really like about coming out here? It's amazing to see what all there is, you know, agriculture is continually progressing and this is really like the forefront where you get to see that all happening. And, and like we were saying, you know, just the level of technology, does that get you excited yeah. in agriculture these days? Yeah, uh, it's just amazing what they can do with their technology and also in crops uh, just to help the farmers out and then also just produce more food. And so just all the technology that goes into it, it's just amazing and uh, really inquisitive just what they put into it. Now, tomorrow is when we'll see a whole lot of FFA people uh, walking down these streets because a lot of students will be coming out here. What do you want those students to take in while they're here? Because, I mean, you could go get a yardstick and that's all you want to do. I mean, that's what you could do. But there's a lot more to it, right? Uh, the one thing that I see that FFA students can get the most out of is all the career opportunities that are present here. Uh, they have any field in agriculture present here that they can go talk to and make a connection with and kind of figure out what they're all about and possibly have a career in agriculture and, f and have a connection with it. Do you want to add to that or anything? Brandon hit it right on yeah. the head. There's so <laughs> many things out here. You just have to come and look and, you know, ask some questions, find out what you need to do to get that career. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're from Scotts Bluff and you're from Bridgeport, and, and yeah. I've talked with the state FFA folks. From Scotts Bluff to Omaha, we have more FFA chapters now in the state than ever. So these are exciting times in FFA, right? Yeah. yeah. We're definitely growing. And like last year we set a new record for uh, – Number of students are right at 7,100, a little over. And th hopefully we continue to grow. Hopefully 5,000 at convention this year. Yeah. Awesome. It's exciting Omaha All has right. an FFA chapter, you know? It does. Yep. It's it does. exciting. So yes. Thank you guys for stopping by. That's all we have for you tonight on NTV's Grow. Thank you so much for joining us. Make the week ahead a good one.